had seen on um, Pinterest a while back where they had drawn, it wasn't a set of lines, but it was something using flowers and they created the whole picture using flowers. So my idea was to make a set of lungs using flowers. And all I did was draw, you know, the esophagus down to the two lobes that go to the lungs. And I just drew two ovals. And then inside of those, I used different colors of crayon and just drew flowers really tight together. And then in the empty space, I drew leaves. And notice there's still white space. And that's where the watercolor will absorb. So I think that's going to be um, cute. Now, keep in mind, because I had this on the back side and I didn't want the colors to all smear together because I had that happen once before. This is a page that we did a um, year or so ago. And you can see that my color bled through to this other page. And I didn't want that to happen. But we did the uh, watercolor resist on this one and this one. And then we also did it on the light, the candle. But I'm not going to use the dark, dark color this time. I'm going to make it lighter. So what I did, I made a, just took a plain sheet of copy paper and I traced this page. I laid it in there and traced around it, cut that out and glued it on. But I still need to go back and trim the edges. So I'll do that later. But this gives extra strength so that it doesn't bleed through as much. Um, but all of this white space is going to collect the paint. Now up here it says just breathe and you can make that out a little bit. What I did is I drew it very lightly with pencil and you can see that here. Then I took the eraser and just went back over it some so that I could still see it. You probably can't see it, but I can still see it. And then I'm going to do this one with yellow just to add a different color. I did the just breathe in white and that let me see. And I'm going to do that with each of these. You could probably leave your crayon, your pencil marks there, but I really didn't want those pencil marks to show through. And you could probably do this without even tracing it, just by, you know, looking at it, but it's really hard. It's easy with the yellow, but it was not with the white. So that's why I wanted to, to write it out. This shows you my technique. Okay, so then I'm going to take, Ella, you'll have to go back and watch our recording. This whole lesson is dedicated to you, girl. So I'm gonna get that really watered down. I want it, um, I don't want it really dark. I just wanna do a wash and then it will not stick to the crayon. And I want kind of an uneven, you know, darker in places and lighter in places. Just keep adding water. See, I'm using up these old paints that are truly cheap and old. I'm going to leave it partially white around the edges. And then on this page, I did a watercolor flower. And I'm going to put the verses that I had in the lesson on this page. But I want to show you how I made those. I'm going to flip that over and show you last week's page. So I really liked how this turned out. It's kind of a, you know, abstract, but I like it. And then I had made these flowers um, a while back. I used watercolor paper, and I'm going to show you the the technique I used on those. They, oops, sorry, turned out like that. Um, here's a piece. But 
you can do this on your journal page or you could do it on a separate sheet of paper. The first thing you do is get your paper wet. So that's picked up the orange, but that's okay. These are gonna be really loose. The paint will just kind of smear. Maybe I got that a little too wet, but. I got it too wet, or maybe because this is the back of the watercolor paper is probably the problem. But what happens is you end up with these petals. And then after that dries, that one totally didn't work because it's the back of the paper, watercolor paper. That's how I did these leaves. I got it barely damp and then I went in and drew those and it gives it that watercolor, I mean the, the loose edges. Did the same thing with the leaf and then the dots in the middle. After that dries, then I take a um, black marker, a black pen, just a plain black pen, and I just randomly go around it twice. And you don't have to worry about keeping that real um, perfect because what makes those so cute is the fact that they're um, messy. And then you can cut those out. So my plan on this page is to have these flowers that I made scattered around and then put my verses in here because I didn't finish that. All I did was the scripture memory tips and tricks. And I, I will be going back and recording that this week. I just, where I was on my trip, I didn't have a chance to. And then on this page, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I hope you can see this. I'm just going to, around those and on this paper I probably would not get it wet first I think it's um, the paper's not as thick but you do need to if you use the watercolor paper then if you have a white pen you can go back in and give some dots just to add a little bit of interest And I may do another one of those down here and then put the verses. So that is the idea for today's lesson. And I hope y'all enjoyed it.